Okay guys, so seven days to go. Peak week, woo, it's peak week, ah! Uh, so what am I gonna do for peak week? What am I gonna do to peak? All right, uh, well, first things first, I'm gonna deplete my carbs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop my carbs completely, cut them out, zero carbs for the next four days. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start drinking about 10 to 15, maybe 20 liters of water a day. I'm gonna slowly start taking out all the sodium in my diet because that's gonna dry me out. Um, and then when I finish doing my uh, like my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday circuit workouts, nothing strenuous, just circuits. I'm, uh, I'm then gonna as soon as I finish on Thursday, I'm gonna start carb loading. I'm gonna cut my sodium completely. I'm gonna start uh, lowering my water as well. And the night before the comp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my water absolutely completely and just sip on about two shots of water until the show. I'm going to drink a bottle of wine the night before. And then when I uh, get to the show, I'm going to I'm going to basically just load up on loads and loads of stuff that I've not eaten at all. This prep, this year, the last 10 years. I'm going to eat Skittles. I'm going to eat loads of Haribo. Uh, I'm basically just going to eat 16 bowls of granola. I'm going to eat jelly, uh, chocolate raisins. I'm just going to shuck it all in. And uh, then when I get on stage and I nearly shit my pants and I look terrible and I'm farting all over the place. I can't tense my abs because I'm so bloated. Uh, I can't get a pump because I'm flat as fuck because I've got no sodium in me and no water. Uh, and then two days later, I'm going to look at myself and go, wow, I actually look pretty good because now that I've filled out, I fucked everything up. No, that's not what I'm going to do. No, that's not what I'm going to do at all, right? Here's the deal with peak week. We're going to call it peak week. I hate calling it peak week, right? But bottom line, it's called peak week because it's to make you look the best you can look. If you haven't worked hard enough and you're not lean enough, you're fucked already. And here's a test for you. At the beginning of the week, right, seven days out, when you wake up in the morning after you've been to the toilet or whatever, look at your stomach, look at, your, look at where you store your fat. I know everyone stores it differently, right? If you can flick your stomach and anything wobbles, that's fat. It's not water, it's not water. No matter what, what, what tricks you're gonna do to, you know, pull your water out that week, you know, you think you're holding water. If it's wobbling, it's fat. If you wake up in the morning, you're already dehydrated, you're already dehydrated. The only difference is, if you're lean, you'll still have a little layer, a little layer of water. But that, that's the kind of thing you can remove, but it won't wobble. In the morning, that layer of water will just be, it's something, it's so negligible. It'll show a difference on stage once you've got rid of it, or once you've removed it, but literally, if it wobbles, it's fat. So what I suggest in that case is, pick a different show. There is absolutely no shame in delaying a show. You've worked hard for X amount of weeks. Why would you go on stage looking 90% or even 80% when there's a show two weeks, three weeks down the line where you could just coast in and look a shit ton better and might fucking place. But if you're going to turn up thinking that peak week, all these tricks are going to make you drop body fat in the last week, you aren't going to drop body fat in the last week. The fat you've got at the beginning of your peak week is pretty much give or take gonna be what you have at the end so bear that in mind right so what am I gonna do well I've been having every every third day I've been having like not a high carb day not a refeed something in between about 400 grams of carbs I've been on 125 grams two days and then 400 grams give or take sometimes about 375 sometimes 425 it just depends how hungry I've been it doesn't matter uh, uh, my fats have been 87 grams a day. I brought them down like by 10 grams. So I've been on 2,400 calories this week. What I'm going to do is, uh, basically I'm off to Newquay tomorrow. So I'm going to have another low day tomorrow. And then Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to do a front load. But a very moderate front load. I want to get in between five and 600 grams of carbs over the first two days. Spread over. I might do more on the first day, a few less on the second day, depending on how I'm feeling. But about five, 600 grams. Then, on Wednesday, I'm going to drop my fat drastically from about 87 grams down to about 50 grams a day then 
I'm gonna up my calves slightly from what they were. So back to 150. So I'm actually upping my calves into the show from what they were, but I've dropped my fats. So I'm actually creating a bigger deficit, but still increasing carbs. So I'll start to fill out. This is what I did last year. And it worked a fucking treat, you know? It was great. I'll probably end up on about two, 250, two, 300 calories for two days up until uh, the Thursday. Thursday will be my last workout. Uh, I'm just gonna do multiple body part workouts. I'm not gonna do circuits, but I'm just gonna do, you know, I pick a few body parts and just do it. Um, and then I'm gonna start carb loading. I'm not even gonna be carb loading. Uh, after my last workout, I'm just gonna start putting carbs in. I'm gonna just play it by ear. I know how I've been reacting to 400 grams with that front load at the beginning of the week. I'm just gonna see how I get on. I'm not gonna need tons and tons of carbs, and that's the point. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in a position where I need to slam in eight, 900 grams of carbs because that is gonna add body weight, just in volume of food, you know? And I don't wanna have bad guts. Digestive issues are a nightmare. If you turn up on stage and you're bloated, you could look slightly distended because you've eaten too much food or you've had a reaction from too many carbs or you're just you're shitting and farting all over the place. It can be a nightmare, you know what I mean? It really can, it can fuck everything up just because you've just, to look better, you've had to put all this food in and it's just not reacted well with you. So I'm not gonna be eating loads of foods I haven't been eating. I know what foods I tolerate well. So really, I just wanna be getting in from a Thursday night, Friday, probably shoving three, 400 grams of carbs, and then just see on the Saturday morning how I'm looking, how I'm feeling, but I'll go with very dense carbs. I'll just be trickling in bits of uh, rice cakes and jam. That works fine with me. Uh, I'll nibble on dry granola. That works fine with me. Um, as far as water goes, I'll be conscious this week of making sure I'm getting plenty of water in. I drink lots of water anyway. I drink probably six litres of water a day at the moment. I'll probably up that slightly. I might just be conscious of just constantly drinking water, but I'm not going to be doing 10 litres of water like I have done in the past. It makes me feel like shit. And bottom line, if you're drinking 7 litres or 10 litres, I don't think there's going to be any difference at all from the cut that you do later. And the reason you do the water cut is basically in the easiest way to explain is when you put loads of water in, your body uh, flushes more water out. It's called aldosterone. And basically, if you're doing it every day for a month, your body's going to expect to be getting that much water. It will then expect to flush that much water out. If you then suddenly stop putting that much water in, there's a delay. It's still going to try and flush out the water it was expecting. So you end up with a, a drier appearance. You're dehydrated. But obviously, your sodium and your carbs are going to determine where that water goes. You want that water to come out from underneath your skin and between your skin and your muscles, and you want it to go into your muscles. Sodium. I've had high sodium this entire prep. I am not cutting it out. You cut your sodium out and you end up with a, a fucking physique and muscles flatter than a 12 year old's chest. It's the stupidest thing. You won't get a pump no matter how many calves you shove in, so don't even bother. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is be conscious for the last few days. I'm just gonna not shove it on every meal, just a little bit here and there. And then before I go on stage, I like to use things like smoky bacon, honestly really salty bacon or biltong or beef jerky about an hour before I go on stage because it's really really light and it's really really dense and if you've done it right about an hour before I end up with really veiny vascular pumps and it's great it works a treat so I've well, we covered everything there yeah I'd Everybody does the bro science approach the first time they compete and they wonder what the fuck happened. How did I fuck this up? How did I look better two days later? You sabotage yourself, you know. It's it's cruel that it's out there on the net for you to read to do all this shit and all this crap that Mr. fucking Geisley did in 1970 and it worked for him. Well, it didn't fucking work for him because the standards then weren't as good as they are now in terms of lean. So, bottom line, don't fuck your prep up. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Do a show a little bit later. And most importantly, enjoy it. In fact, as far as enjoying goes, I am gonna have a little glass of wine the night before. But that's it. Because otherwise I'm gonna have a massive headache, and I hate it under the stage lights, sweating, and you feel like crap. This is peak week, motherfuckers.